Good afternoon, boys and girls. Today is Friday, the 23rd of October, and we are going to be beginning unit three today with lesson number one. Now, you may look in your book and notice that lesson number one is a multiple page lesson. We're only going to start it today with uh, the first two pages, and uh, you need to make sure that you have a ruler. Okay, so try, if you have a ruler, that would be great. Get, go ahead and get that out. Um, that way you can look at the uh, measuring because in this particular um, unit, we are looking at measurement, measurement of weight, measurement of length, and measurement of volume, and just so we have extra fun, measurement of time. Okay, so I will also say that I have to, will have to, for part of the time, turn off my virtual background. So I will give you a heads up on that so we can um, see, it, you'll see my screen. So not very exciting, but uh, this is what it'll look like. So apologize in advance for that. Okay, so let me first share our screen. So we need to get out our math books. We are gonna open up our math books to this particular page. So you should see this where it says units of length. Okay, units of length. So uh, right here, if you look, we have a ruler. Okay, this is a short version of the one that you would have in your hand, right? Um, notice they cut it off. You can see where they cut it off after four inches. And so we're going to look uh, carefully at this and see if we can um, use this, all right? So if you look on a ruler, we have a couple parts of the ruler and the measurements that we want to see. So we look at the ruler here, we notice that with space from here to here, this right here is one inch, okay? We know it's one inch because it has a one here, okay? So between the two long benchmarks, we have one here and one here, we know that's one inch. If we look here, here's a tip of one, Here's the tip of the next. That's one inch from point A to point B, from here to here. You'll also notice that in the middle, we have other numbers, or other lines, I should say. These are other measurements, okay? This right here, the long one in the middle, is one half because there are two equal pieces here and here. Then, we have these other even smaller ones, which are, how many are there between here and here? We have one, two, three, four. So those are fourths, right? So one fourth and three fourths. Okay. You may say, well, why didn't you do, do this one? Well, that one technically, yes, you're right, would be called four fourths, but we're not gonna call it that. We're gonna call it one half. And you'll understand why we do that when we do unit six and seven, which deals with fractions. And that'll be in the spring. So we don't need to worry about that at this time. Just know, and you have to memorize, one fourth, one half, three fourths, and an inch. Okay, say that again. One fourth, one half, three fourths, one inch, okay? So those are super important right there. But don't forget that, all right? So that's how we measure. All right, so circle the unit, a fraction of units to show the length of the line segment. So it's easy when they print it on our page, to be honest with you. So we're gonna use these first, but there's a couple key things um, that we'll have to talk about before we have you uh, measure on the second page of this document. All right, so how many big numbers are there? We have zero, here we have one inch, two inch, three inch, right? So we know that it doesn't go on to four, so we're, we don't need this, okay? So we're gonna put a three over here. Then we have one fourth and one half. And we always, always, always have to make sure that we label, so three and one half inches okay so make sure you label that inches okay let's look at our next one here we go zero to one one to two two to, oh we don't get the three so it's not going to be three 
only two. So we're gonna write it two. And here we have one fourth, one half, still haven't made at the end. Oh, here we go. And three fourths. So what is it gonna be? Two and three fourths. Okay, so that's super important. Okay, so what I would like you to do right now is um, you're going to stop the video in a moment and you are going to do number three, four, and five on your own. It's one of your practice, okay? And then we will uh, go through them. So stop the video at this time, do number three, number four, and number five. Hopefully you stopped the math video and have number three, four, and five completed. So let's see how you did. If you didn't, please do stop it. It'll help you out. All right. So we notice that we're looking at inches first. Okay. Past number one. Oh, but it's not past number two. So we know that it's a one. Then we look at the small numbers. Okay. First line is one fourth. Okay. That's how we do that. Next one. Yep. Passes one, passes two, oh, doesn't pass three. So we know that it's a two. One fourth, one half, three fourths. Oh, look, there it is. One fourth, right? And then finally, we have one, two, oh, look what happened. How many of you got, got caught on this? Look, they broke the other end of the ruler off now. So what number are we starting with? We're starting with number four, five, six, seven. Does that mean that this is really just one, two? No, we have to follow these numbers, okay? They didn't print the whole ruler, but they are telling us that there's more of the ruler that goes this way and there's more of the ruler that goes this way. But we're only looking at four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we read here that it is one, two, all the way to seven, right? Doesn't go to eight. I'm going to write seven, and then how many? Three fourths inches. And all these probably should say inches, just like that. All right, good job. Clear that off, come down here. Okay, so we're going to look now at a ruler, and our ruler here has a few problems. What happened? Looks like someone messed up the numbers. Can we can we measure like this? No, the answer is no. The whole point of a ruler is that one inch here is the same as one inch over here. And so if I, I can't, they're not all the same, okay? So what am I gonna say? I want you to, again, we're gonna stop the video. You're going to tell me what's wrong and this right here is your secret question for the day. So you're gonna write what your answer is in the comment section of uh, this lesson, okay? Whether you're turning it in in classroom number one or classroom number two, uh, please make sure that you leave a comment on either one of those two places. All right, we're trying to switch over to classroom number two. If you didn't get over there yet, um, that's fine. Do it in classroom number one and Tuesday we'll have, or Monday we'll have to make sure that you can get over because uh, all of math is going to be in the other classroom now. All right, so now we're going to use something called estimate and measure length. And estimate is a fancy word that means a fancy guess, right? I'm not going to say, ooh, look at this line. I think there's probably three million inches. No, that's not an educated guess, right? That's only an idea. So, um, So yes, so right here, so what do we have? How many inches do you think that this is? Okay, so we're gonna write an estimate. I think it's probably about four inches, okay? Now, when you look at your ruler, I mean, I'm gonna turn this off real quick. If I can get it, there we go, okay? And I have to turn off my virtual background so we don't lose our beautiful math numbers. Otherwise, you can't see my ruler. Okay, so if you look carefully at the ruler itself, 
you'll notice that sometimes it doesn't start all the way at the end. So when I'm measuring, I have to make sure that I'm measuring from where it has the line, okay? Some of them are right at the very end, okay? And you just push the end there. Others have a little space here and then a dark line. So you need to look at the beginning of your ruler and decide uh, which one that is, okay? So you can see the red line kind of at the end. That's where you're gonna start measuring. Okay, so when you measure something, um, you're gonna hold it up. It's hard to do this backwards. Um, as you know on the screen, everything is backwards. Um, and so it's going to go from there at the one and you're gonna very carefully measure like that, okay? I'm not measuring from the edge of the tape over here. I'm not just putting the measure. Oh, look, there it is. It's like three inches long. No, it makes no sense. You have to line it up, okay? Make sure you are lining it up. So you line it up with the end of the ruler right at the end of your line, and then you go over. And how many inches is it? It's actually one inch, two inch, three and a half inches. So I was wrong in my estimate. That was close. I said four, and it's actually three and a half. So let's write that. Okay. So let's go back to our shared screen. Share it again. Share that again. I had estimated that I thought it was going to be four. But I had four, and it actually was three and a half. Okay, so that's what you're going to do. All right, so we are going to give you a little bit of homework to do tonight or today. You have time to do it, okay? You are going to do on your own and bring the class on Monday. Number eight, nine, then you have to draw these lines, 10, 11, and 12, okay? You don't need to do the last one to do it. You can forget number 13, but you do need to do up to number 12. So you're gonna do eight to 12 on your own and bring that to class, okay? Number eight to 12 on your own, and then you're gonna bring it to class, all right? So make sure you are using a ruler, okay? See what, ooh, kind of magical, makes my hand disappear. All right, well, and you're not doing page 169. You are stopping on page 168. Make sure you stop. Do not keep going. Stop at 168. All right. Have a fantastic weekend. Good luck at SEL. Hope that's a good class for you. And we, we will all see you on Monday morning. All right. Thank you very much.